Hey, what is up everybody? This is Mark and today I'm here to introduce you to one of our newest Echo holders. In this case, this is a retro TV that's made to hold specifically the Echo Show 5s. So if you have one of those or if you have a friend or loved one or somebody you want to sell it to that has a Show 5, they're going to really dig this one because it is so fun to look at and it's definitely going to be a conversation piece for whoever has it. It's really simple to make. It takes just one sheet of 11 by 19 material and the show just sits in the back just like this. Just set it right in there and the cord comes out the back. You have easy access to all the buttons there on the top and it just gives your Echo a really cute personality instead of just being a black box sitting on a shelf. I think you're really gonna dig this. So check out this video where I show you how to put it all together. You're gonna love this, but it does only work for the Show 5, so make sure that's the holder that you have. If you don't have this particular one, then you'll wanna look for another one of our designs for your particular Echo. It sits right in like this. The cord just plugs in right at the back, and it frames your TV, or the show in this case, in a really fun and creative way that will definitely be a conversation piece for anybody who sees it. So let me walk you through what all the pieces are and then we'll assemble it together. So first of all, we've got the two, what I'll call the face pieces. You've got this piece right here that has the score lines that show you where the three big knobs go. And then this one here goes behind it and it'll go just like, like this right here when you glue them together. And then when we flip it over, you'll see that there are slots that hold the sides and the bottom in there as well. So that's those. And then for the antenna, they've got these little uh, small ovals that go on the top of the antenna right there. There's two of those. We've got this frame here that goes around the speaker or the simulated speaker hole. Of course, the speaker for the Echo is not actually right there, but it, it is on this uh, old school TV. So that goes right there. There's all the buttons there with the score lines to show you where the top circles go. Then going over here, we've got this frame piece that goes right around this just to give it a border just like that. Over here, we've got the two side pieces, which are gonna go right into these slots here, just like that. Then we've got the bottom piece, which the uh, side pieces will go in just like this right here. And these are holes uh, for the speaker on the bottom of the Echo, just to let the sound out a little better. Here's the back bumper piece that goes right in like this, that will keep the show tilted forward so it's right against the front space, the front uh, hole. And then last but not least, we've got these three discs that glue together like this. And then you put on the, the legs or the feet that go just like that. All right, so let's walk through these together. We'll assemble them uh, piece by piece. Uh, let me show you the glue that I will be using today. I'll be using the Gorilla Glue uh, super glue precise gel. I really like this for these videos because it, it sets quickly and um, it makes these videos easier. And we've been using them in the office a lot uh, for our projects. So we really like this. You can use, of course, whatever you'd like. Uh, one last thing where you're using eighth inch uh, MDF here, our slot sizes, as you see in the, um, in the file, is that our slot sizes are 0.115. Of course, you're going to measure your material and adjust those to be whatever your material needs. Uh, so that's up to you as well. This is made for eighth inch, around the eighth inch material. It's not made for quarter inch. Uh, so I definitely wouldn't do this with quarter because uh, lots of things just won't work well. All right, let's get started. So what we're going to do first is we're going to glue a couple of these sets of things together. So for starters, we're going to go ahead and glue these three circles together just like that. Then we'll glue the buttons together. We'll glue the top ovals onto the antenna and then we'll start assembling the rest. So for starters, I'm gonna grab my glue here and we're gonna glue these three discs together just like this. Set that off to the side for a moment. Let that set up completely. Let's go ahead and glue our two face pieces. Of course, you're going to have painted these already uh, before you do this. So then we're gonna glue this one right on top of that one. So this is the front and the back is gonna be the one that has the slots in it here. All right, we'll set that off to the side as well. Let's go ahead and we'll glue the buttons together and then we'll come back and we'll glue on the top of the antenna there as well. So these are pretty straightforward. You've got uh, score lines that show you exactly where these go like that. 
So let's go ahead and glue these on together. All right, now we'll go back and do the antenna toppers on here. Okay, now a couple of the other pieces we can do at the moment is we can go ahead and put on this front frame here. And we can also put this around the speaker. So we'll do that as well. If you want to use 3M on this, this is really great. Otherwise, just be really careful with your placement of your glue so that it doesn't show in the wrong places. All right, so now we can go ahead and put our buttons on if we want to. Set that off to the side and let's go ahead and put the feet on the bottom here. They just go in these three slots just like you would imagine they do. All right, now we've just got a couple more pieces to go and we will be done. Let me show you how these go on. On the back side of these pieces we've been working with, we've got this bottom piece where this tab right here goes right into that slot right like that. And then our um, side pieces go in just like this. So what I have found is I think that it's a little easier to put this, uh, I'm sorry, let me point this out to you real quick. You see this uh, shorter tab and this longer tab? The longer tab goes into the base here. So you really can't get it wrong because the longer tab won't fit there. So you'll know if you have it upside down. So it goes in just like this and then goes in like that. So what I would probably do, it seems a little easier to me to put these two side pieces into this one and then put this whole thing into the, into the uh, vertical part. So let's do that one together. I'll show you what I mean. So we'll put these two into here first and then this into the back. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue inside all these three slots here. Set this down here and then I will put in these uh, three pieces that we put together here down into that middle part there. All right, all we've got left is this back piece that holds the back of the show up at the right angle. So we'll take this guy, put a little bit of glue on here and put it into that slot at the bottom. And the last thing we need to do is to put on the feet. Let me show you how we did it here. You can technically do it however you want, uh, but we've got it just, let me see if I can do this without dropping it. We've got on just like this. So we've got the two legs facing the front and we've got the circle butted right up against the right up against the front edge, just like that centered. Okay, so I'll show you how we did that. Flip this over. And I'm going to glue it on just like this right here, just like that. And there we have it. You've got your retro TV Echo Show 5 holder. I think you're really going to dig this. Paint it however you like. We really like these uh, kind of, again, these retro style colors, You can, but you can do whatever you want. We're also thinking about doing some red and white. That'll be cool as well. But that's how you make it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And of course, as always, I'd love to see what you guys make with it.